Hello, this is Wampire. For today's lesson, we're going to take a total break from the stick and we're going to do something completely unrelated with the training knife. All right, so for today, the main idea is that, of course, in a close range uh, situation, I want to be utilizing you know, something advanced like the Heaven 6. Uh, but we have to understand that there may not be an opening like that. So in that case, I could revert to something more basic like the chainsaw, in case whatever reason I am not able to utilize the Heaven 6. Maybe I don't see an opportunity for it, maybe things are just happening too quickly, and uh, doing the Heaven 6 at that time might just not feel right. So in that case, you revert to something a lot more basic like the chainsaw motion. The only problem is, those are two extremes. So you have something really advanced like the Heaven 6, and then you have something super basic like the chainsaw, where you're just repeatedly doing something like this. So what we want is something in between that will link something basic like the chainsaw into the Heaven 6 type motion. All right, so for today, I'm gonna to be using the side of the wall. I highly don't recommend it actually. I'm just doing this because it's easier to film this way. Um, I definitely recommend that you use like a tire uh, swinging off the tree. That would be a much better choice. Um, and the door ledge actually works much, much better than the wall here. But anyway, what we're doing here is inside work to link the basic chainsaw movement, this kind of motion right here, with something much more complex like the Heaven 6 motion. So this is the in-between work, okay? Uh, what we're gonna be doing here is you're just gonna place your knife right here, and then you're just gonna make a small motion like that, small pulling motion, and that's your cut right there. It's not a super full-blown slash like this. That's not what I'm doing, because you may not have the space for that. So it's just boom, two, three. So I'm just making quick, short cuts. One, two, three, four, stab, and then over here. One, two, same thing over here. I'm just placing the knife onto the target. Quick, quick pulls this way, and that creates my cut, and then a stab. Okay, and then I switch directions. After the stab, switch, switch directions. So we're gonna start from the bottom, we're gonna go up to the top right here, place your blade onto the target, and let's do three. One, two, and three, and then stab. The stab changes directions, and now we're gonna come back down. So we're gonna go one, two, and three. And then a quick stab right here, change directions. One, two, three, stab, change directions, one, two, three, coming back down, stab, change directions, and now we're gonna go back up, one, two, three, stab, okay. So the reason why we're practicing this once again is that sometimes you're in close quarters and you really may not have the room. And sometimes all you get is like just this. You see that, I put the edge right there and just up and down with the wrist. That's all I might get. So within a very, very confined uh, type mobility in such cases, this is the kind of technique that you're gonna be using to try to break free from it and then go into the Heaven Six. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.